kids say, I work with uh, also, you know, gifted and talented children, what have you. And some kids can tell you exactly the figure. Oh, the, the distance from the moon to the sun, you know, or distance from the moon to the earth is so and so many kilometers. But you say, no, what's it look like? They haven't got a clue. That's why I did this little experiment with the thing. So now you have a picture of what it looks like. Now go a bit further into space, and I've got a list here. On Earth we have one moon. Mars has two moons. Now always keep in mind, because this is the important thing, the picture we had here with this, the Earth there and the moon over there. And all the space in between is just space. Pluto, that thing is a... I don't even know if it's, if it's a... They're still arguing if it's a planet or not, but that's not our concern. Has three moons. Neptune, 13 moons. Uranus, 27 moons. Saturn has 59 moons. And Jupiter has 63 moons. That is almost incredible. But the picture that emerges, I put it here on the blackboard, on the whiteboard. <coughs> you have the planet and you have the moons going around. And this is a principal picture, which is what nature is about. If you photograph this picture with all the space in between, this tremendous space, first of all, if you look at yourself, you are consisting of molecules, molecules that exist, consists of atoms. What is an atom? looks like this. And how do we distinguish one atom from another one? Who has heard, you people, you would know, periodic tables, yes? Yeah. You learned that in school, you feel, I don't know how, uh, how far advanced you are. Anyway, periodic table explains how many electrons with around a particular uh, nucleus. <coughs> Now, we are interested in certain, in certain uh, materials today, and I take this, uh, this stuff here, this copper. The copper atom has 29 electrons whizzing around the nucleus, this here. It is very similar to outer space, the only difference is what here is so extremely small you cannot see, out in outer space is so big you can't imagine. Mm -hmm. And today <coughs> we'd like to make an experiment. I'd like to have some volunteers, especially the younger ones here. Who is willing to volunteer? I need four volunteers. All right, you four, come on. <laughs> you come over here, please. You know, a role play is an imaginary play where we have uh, stand we face the group. Come on, come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. A bit forward. Yeah. Now you know you know what you are. Yes. For the next minute, you are a copper atom, mm -hmm. and you have twenty-nine <laughs> electrons whizzing around you. Right? Twenty-nine. This is you. You know what you are? Yes. You are what? You are a copper atom for the next minute with 29 electrons whizzing around you. You know what you are? You are a copper atom <laughs> with 29 electrons whizzing around you. You know what you are? What? A copper atom. No, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have 29, you may have 17 or 95, I don't know, but you are not copper, you are, take your pick, plastic, dry wood, anything like that, right? and you are one out of the ordinary. Now, <coughs> now make sure you keep your 29 over you, because if you're 30, you're nickel, if you're no, zinc. And if you're 28, you are nickel. So make sure you remain copper. Now, would you stand here, right next to 
Marie, and you stand here, and you stand here. Now, what happens? I've got a magic pump here, which is called voltage. When I pump, I create voltage. And you know what happens? If I do this, then some of the electrons here go to there, there, there. They go all, everyone in the room. In fact, everyone in Canberra, everyone in Australia. And imagine again, the whole circle comes around here. Yeah, not you, no, around here. <laughs> I pump, and as soon as I get three electrons whizzing around, three come back here. Because you can't have more or less electrons, right? You all copper. Now comes this worm here. <laughs> And this <laughs> is a thing ever seen. Yes. Because now I'm pumping here. And what happens? Nothing. Because this one here says, I'm not going to give my electrons away. I want to keep my electrons here. So I can pump and pump and pump. This one is the odd one out. He is an insulator. The others are conductors. And as soon as this one is in between, and keep in mind later on you'll see it all in practice. If I pump here, nothing will happen. Unless, and again as you will see later on in practice, I get really wild, and, ah, you know, and then and something jumps right across this fellow here. And he said, oh dear. Keep in mind, thank you very much, you can put it this. <laughs> When I pump and electrons move, that is electricity. That's the point of all this. Remember, whenever voltage pushes electrons around an electric circuit, that is electricity. Is there any electricity inside you? Any of you? <coughs> no one? You can speak up. You all did. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be sitting here and pretending to be alive? You're dead. If there's no electricity inside you, you are dead. For a start, somewhere inside, hidden in the inside here, you put an oscillator. An oscillator is an electronic instrument, a little tiny thing, that every now and then gives a blip. Just a little blip, you know, we call it the pulse, an electric pulse. And that pulse every time starts, gives your heart, you know, come on, pump again. If you didn't have that, and you would have to say, time for the next beat, come on, time for the next beat. Oh, you wouldn't have time to eat, you know. <laughs> Furthermore, as you're sitting here, every one of you is an aerial. An aerial is something you will see, is electromagnetic waves. And there are so many around. If you would have, say, a sensitive communication receiver, you can listen to maybe BBC London, coming from London on shortwave. You have hundreds of signals in all sort of wave bands, wavelengths. And it's all inside you because you can't tell but you're sitting here and, and you don't know it. But we haven't got the sense. We only have taste and got it, uh, ears and whatever. We haven't got the sense to receive it, so we have no idea. But inside you is so much electricity.